happening now, emergency crews are searching for a woman who's m m m excuse me, has been missing after a tubing accident last week. Nine members of one family went over a dam while tubing on the Dan River in Eden. Ford Hatchet is live at the scene where those recovery efforts are underway. Ford? Well, we haven't seen nearly the presence out here as a search rescue party that we've seen in the past couple of days, but in the past couple of minutes, right before we came on air, we did see a boat come by on the river behind me, and the director of Rockingham County Emergency Services, Rodney Cates, told me that they're having an aerial support as well, and we saw a helicopter fly overhead just a few minutes ago searching. It's a state highway patrol helicopter. They're searching for one person still unaccounted for from this incident. That's 35-year-old Teresa Viano. She is still unaccounted for. Initial search efforts were suspended Sunday morning, but yesterday an onlooker spotted the body of seven-year-old Isaiah Crawford, which sparked another round of recovery efforts, and they're ongoing today. In total, nine tubers were involved in the initial accident on Wednesday evening, and on Thursday, rescue crews saved four people and discovered the bodies of three more. And with the warm weather of the summer months still ahead, lots of people will be back on the river canoeing, kayaking, and tubing, and local river recreation companies want to make sure people are prepared to remain safe. Dan River Campground and River Adventures owner Ann Suda says tubing on a natural river is a whole different animal compared to people's perception of relaxing on a day on a lazy river. She says there are plenty of obstacles to account for and says preparation is crucial to a safe outing. Her company is constantly checking river conditions and says sometimes even bright and sunny days can present dangerous conditions. We have found out that we need to research the current speed and the height of the river, whether it's a beautiful day out or not, because perhaps we had a lot of rain the week before, or we have rain upstream because this river comes out of Virginia, our particular Dan River comes out of Virginia and goes all the way through North Carolina. So you need to check those things, and if they are unsafe, then we don't need to be putting people on the river, even though the day is beautiful. And Suda says her company has already received calls from nervous river goers, and she's even had some people cancel their tubing trips after the incident here last week. She said preparation is crucial. She provided me with this map. Buckingham County Chamber of Commerce, you can see it marks some of the entry and exit points for river goers, and it also marks some of the known hazards and obstacles right here, and that includes dams. But one note to make note of down here in all caps, there are no dam warning signs posted on the river. That's why she says preparation is key. She says tubing can still be a very fun and safe activity, but you have to take the necessary steps to prepare before hitting the water. In Eden, Fort Hatch at WXII 12 News. Great advice. Thank you so much, Ford. We will continue to provide updates on this developing story on air and online, and you can follow along by clicking on this article on the homepage of our website, WXII 12.